Hi guys! Today I am starting my first project pan of 2018 and that is the Finish 7 by Spring. I thought I would just get the ball rolling. There are some products that I definitely want to use up in the very beginning of the year to get the momentum going. I do have some new products that I got for the holidays and I just want to make sure that I still am focusing on using things up. So if you have missed some previous projects I will link them down below but yeah I am very excited to get get into this, so let's just do it. First product I would like to use up is Max Twig. This is a lipstick and this is what it looks like. I do have a lipstick that is older than this in my collection. It is Max Mocha, but this is closer to being used up and I feel like I get more use out of this than Mocha, so I would really like to just get it out of my collection. So this line is where I am in the intro and then this is the bottom of the product. So that is how much I have and I will admit I got some new lipsticks for the holidays so this isn't the thing I've been reaching for the most but if I could use it three times a week that would be great. There isn't a ton left however this does take a long time to use up. MAC lipsticks are very pigmented and you do reapply them, but not like as much as some lipsticks, so we shall see. I really hope I can get this out of my collection. The next thing is the Tarte Blush in Party. This is what the product looks like. This is the thing we all got in our birthday sets from Sephora if you chose to get the makeup birthday set. And I have used a lot of this, however, I have not used this really consistently since college orientation and I am now on winter break. So I definitely want to use this up. This is a total of 1.5 grams and I have used at least half a gram, right? If not more. And yeah, I just want to get this out. I think this is a nice color for spring along with the twig lipstick. Next I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is a deluxe size sample. This was a product I had in my 12 pans of Christmas along with the twig lipstick and I just wanted to make progress on them and now I'm like, I gotta get this out of my collection. So I'm not gonna draw a line because I find that the Sharpie gets on my hands and kind of goes everywhere but this is where I am right now. I don't like this primer. It does nothing. Okay, well I shouldn't say I don't like it. I don't dislike it in the sense that when I wear it I hate my makeup because if that was the case I would declutter it. I just don't think it does anything. I wear this on days when I'm not wearing foundation and I don't wear foundation a lot. There's a lot of days where I don't do that. So I do use this often and I just put it, you know, on my face and then I put concealer and stuff and it just does nothing. Like, I don't know. I talked about this in my 12 pans of Christmas video, but I just don't think it does anything. But I would like to use it up. I don't really want to declutter it. Um, you know, maybe it does something magical and I just don't notice. So I definitely think I can have this gone by spring. The next one is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent and this is where I am for the intro. This used to be my holy grail powder. This was all I used and now it kind of isn't. I have the Maybelline Fit Me powder and I was using that under my eyes. I hated it so I switched to using it on my face and I like it more than this. I find that it just keeps me a little more matte. It's kind of hard to tell because that one does have a bit of color and this one is transparent but yeah I used to purchase this whenever I ran out and now I'm just kind of moving on. Maybe I'll go back to it one day but for now I just want it out of my collection so I can focus on that other powder. So this is the powder that I will be using from now until spring and hopefully I will use it up. Alright, the next product is incredibly ambitious. This is a bronzer that I want to use up this year. It's the only bronzer I own that I use like all over where you put bronzer, like not as a contour because I don't have separate categories for contour and bronzer. It's kind of just one thing in my collection. This is the oldest product in my collection. This is the Smashbox. Bronze Lights Bronzer in Suntan Matte, and this is where I am now. So you can see why this is ambitious. I have a ton of product left to use, but honestly, you know, maybe using it up isn't my goal. I just want to see progress. I was going to do a project progress, but I didn't really have any other things to put in it besides this, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put it in this, and this will probably roll over into most of my projects this year until it is gone. I really like this product. It is very old, but it works. It still works fine. It's really nice. I like the, uh, the undertone of it. It's more of a 
kind of red bronzer not really but it's very warm and I like it so I have no trouble using it and hopefully I can get a lot of progress on it. Speaking of bronzers, the other bronzer in my collection is the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Bomb. This is what the product looks like so you can see I have used up all of this and I have you know this on the sides. This is the bronzer I use in the summer when I am tan. I really hope this is focused so I don't want to completely use this up but I would like to use up this little chunk and this little chunk. So I would like to have only half and then I am gonna wear this in the summer when I am tan. So yeah, I want half of this gone. It is not really old in my collection, but it's also not really new. And I think it's good to just, you know, keep rotating through your products. Now, lastly, I have the Modern Renaissance palette and I want to hit pan in one or two more of these shades. Ideally, it would be two, but I did just get two new eyeshadow palettes. So I'm just gonna say one and if two happens, that is awesome. As you can see, this is where I am in the intro. And I do have pan on most of them. The one I'm probably gonna focus on is Golden Ochre because that is the one that I never touch. I don't really love this brown color either, but Golden Ochre, I don't know, I just, a lot of people love that. I don't know, I, I never am really into those types of shades. I know that I could hit pan on Love Letter and Red Ochre, is that what it's called? Yeah, but I don't know, I, I feel like I really like those shades and I don't want to like force myself to use them, but the Golden Ochre or the Warm Taupe shades I would really like to get some use out of and hit pan on because I don't know, I don't really use them. Okay guys, so that was everything for this. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.